Welcome back to JLW2 Gaming. Today we're going to continue uh, leveling our character and setting it up so we survive more, which should help a lot of people. We'll see you in there. Alrighty, we have completed that mission. We did level up in there, just barely, as you can tell. But let's check out our skills, and again, we're going to take Advanced Defensive Maneuvering. Why? Because right now, tactical is the highest DPS. DPS is damage per second. You've heard me say it many times. Damage per second is how much damage your ship can put out. Therefore, you, for survivability purposes, as well as to get things done fast, you want high DPS. Um, there's a lot of people who are like, I don't care about DPS. DPS doesn't matter to me. You still need at least 30k DPS in order to run elites. And 20k to run advanced. And as you get things, when you're doing your reputations, you are definitely going to want to run advanced, at least. So to get this stuff up what I'm saying is you need to have decent DPS you don't you don't need to be a 100k player I'm not saying you have to be but you definitely need to get your DPS up so now that we've done that let's check out what we got here so here is what we got let's open the mission journal and we will collect the reward. I get to choose one of the following. Okay, so we don't get both. We get 792 dilithium. And we are going to take the bridge officer. And then we are going to put him in... Okay, so he's just a box. Okay. This is the stuff we picked up through that mission. As we said... We have different things. So here we have a shield battery because we used one. Um, we do not need the auxiliary battery. These we can give to our DOF officers, of course, as well as the hypo, and as well as the Sunday or whatever it is, banana split. All right, one of the other things we picked up in there, which will be a good boost to us, is another tactical kit module, draw fire, and that will go in here. We also picked up a science kit module. We can't really use it. So we're just gonna discard that and take the EC for it. We picked up a disruptor, which gives us a disruptor beam, dual beam bank, and a normal disruptor. So we're going to take this and put it down here. We also picked up an engineering council. Now let's check what we already have. We have power transfer rate, which is very good. This one gives us weapon power setting. So this is a very good council as well. So we're going to hang on to that for when we get our next ship in three levels or so. Then we also picked up... Uh, science one that gives us control expertise which i'd rather have the shield regeneration rate rather than the control expertise to be honest with you so we're going to right click and discard if i was a science ship no i would want that but as a straight dps ship no now we also picked up new impulse engines which is way better than what we have and we're just going to right click and discard these. And that brings us to what we've got. And then we shall move on to the next mission. And it is the price of neutrality. Okay, we're going to bring begin the price of neutrality. And you know how I was saying about DPS a minute ago? There's a couple sayings, one that I live by in this game. 
if it's dead, it can't hurt me. And the second one is the best defense is a good offense. And they hold true, very true in this game. And this is loading very slowly. Very, very, there we go. Wow. Still loading slow. Okay. And there, there aren't really any tricks to playing. A lot of it is learning how to fly. As you learn how to fly, you will get better and better. The big thing is using WSA and D and or both buttons on your mouse, mouse to be able to turn. And being in the right place at the right time. This ship definitely has us outturned. So, when that happens, go into reverse. You can turn a lot faster in reverse. Now that we're almost dead, and that warp core might take us out, yep. Second death due to warp core explosion. Our strategy was to go straight in and kill them. It's not going to work with these guys. They're hitting harder. And they're not allowing us to be able to turn with them. So, we go back to the old style. We go into reverse, which we take a lot more damage in reverse. Because we're not moving as fast. But we can at least stay on target, which is a whole lot better than what we were doing before. The way they were just out turning us. Now, as you see, we're taking more damage, but they're dying. And they do hit a whole lot harder. And we're scanning particles. But yes, warp core explosions do take you out. If you are too close to them, I've mentioned this before, you definitely want to be able to get away. And let's see here. Yeah. All right, yeah, now that we picked up the, ne the next mission, or getting into the next mission, um... We're going to collect this, of course. Congratulations, and that leveled us again. And we get some more duty officers. Which is a good thing. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our duty officers and unpack them. Then we're going to accept memory lane. These are all the things that we picked up. We did get a kit. We finally got a tactical kit. These... We'll talk about the duty officers here in a little bit. But we did get a kit. And that goes here. It doesn't matter what it is because it's already an upgrade. Um, we did get another tactical module. Rally Cry, which is a decent module. Um, we did get some new armor, which we will put on. And then we will make sure that our bridge officers are have be the better armor that they could have is this exactly the same armor uh actually no this one's a little bit better um and she has mark three which is better than that so this now can be right clicked and discarded and then of, co of course we can add the little things to our bridge officers and they all pretty much still have their nope he doesn't have his food he can have that now we have a new weapon which is a phaser split beam rifle 
it is a uh, higher DPS no it's exactly the same let's see here um, times two 57 57 point so we're gonna go with the split beam and we will give Hyven who is using a mark one that sniper rifle and she is running a decent pistol he is running a mark one green she is running a decent pistol so this sniper rifle can be discarded now we picked up antigens which is standard stuff you can replicate so discard that and get the ec we picked up another one of the auxiliary batteries we can discard we picked up an engineering kit module which we're not an engineer we can go to our ship and put the shield batteries on now this is another engineering console it's damage resistance rating i would rather have the power transfer rate but we will keep it around just in case we need it we picked up plasma cannons as i said we're not going to run cannons so we're going to discard them for now it would be nice to be able to get some more stuff but we're slowly oops we're slowly getting to where we need to be now we'll refine the dilithium we made and we'll pick up our another skill point seeing as how it will not let us move on until we pick a skill point we are going to go back and pick advanced hull capacity and we are going to purchase that one and the next one if we have to we'll see what we get next time but i am a big fan we would probably put into projectile weapon at that point um i'm not planning on running torpedoes on this build but or we could go with impulse expertise which will give us a little bit better uh speed control expertise we do not need drain expertise we do not need Shield capacity we might go with as well. Well, it work. I'm not surprised that you did not find any weapons on Viranut. While the Romulan Republic has Now that we're done, most of the colony world, we have our rewards. We'll claim those. We did level up. Greetings. Given what you've discovered at Chaltok and Viranut, we need to widen our... While I appreciate the personal nature of your attempt to time machine... Now... Let's see what we got out of this mission. First off, we'll do our skills. And as you can see, we can't move up yet. I have a choice now. I can either put one in expert, impulse expertise, which gives me a little bit more flight speed and turn rate, or I can go projectile weapons. I still don't plan on having any projectile weapons as of right now, so we're gonna go with impulse expertise just to open up this next section. So when we purchase this, now I can go to the next section, which shows weapon amplification, weapon specialization, damage control, hull plating. Hull plating's decent, these are decent. We'll see what we do when we get there. Now, we don't have any ground points. Let's check ground. Let's check, okay, we still have one of these flashing even though we checked it earlier. So we, we do this, and we want no, increase the duration of most battery device devices and effects. So what that will do is that allows us these to work better for us. And seeing how we have a bunch of stuff over here, let's move this stuff over where it needs to be oh, we got one of those here i'll show you something else now remember this com code i told you to pick up that allowed you to summon somebody it's right here all we got to do is hit that little button and here comes the sulabon cell ship and i can go to my bank and i can drop this thing right on off it makes it really easy to pull items back out of your bank if you need them. 
So it's real nice to have. All right, moving on. Let's. move some of this stuff down here out of the way there's our bridge officer that we never claim we're never picked up from that mission um hyven let's give him this and this heal and she already has a triple toven does not have a triple so we'll give him a triple and we'll give him that Viril, we'll give her this now, if you read the skills on most of these people, or not the skills, hang on, where is it? Status, traits. Most of the Romulans have plasma weapon specialist. So it's best they do more damage if they are actually using plasma weapons. So like for him to have a phaser split beam rifle, he's actually doing less damage with it. This is a phaser assault minigun, which I'm going to give him anyhow. But it is better to have them with plasma weapons. But if you're not getting higher level plasma weapons, let's see here. Does she have that trait? She does not. So with Viril, she is running a plasma weapon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plasma weapon give that to Toven and bring this phaser to her. She doesn't have the plasma weapon trait, so there's no point in having her with the only plasma weapon we have. Now, let's see what we got. I got a better shield. He has a good shield. She has a good shield, but she now has a better shield. And the reason these are better is they're just, they just give a little bit more stuff. See, rapidly regenerates after not taking damage for three seconds. Chance to do 15 damage to all nearby foes when you take damage. Compared to this one that does not have that. Now, he has the same shield. She has a level two shield, so we'll move, move that one up. And we'll discard this one. Now we'll go to our ship. And let's see what we have here. We have a science council, which is control expertise. I have shield regeneration. I would rather have shield regeneration than control expertise. In fact, as attack, unless I'm going to play it like a science, I don't need control expertise at all. Mine weapon, we are definitely not using mines. And then this is the exact same thing that we have, so we'll keep this around. In case, when we get our next ship, we might have two science councils and be able to put it in there. Or we might have two tactical councils or something like that. That's why I keep these around. So when we get another ship, we might be able to use these. So let's move on and see which one we got. The big picture. Where is this? Is this in the mission line? Yep, so we'll move on to the big picture. 